Hey guys, Command Protect here. So, I've wanted to go about making videos of a format other than full game commentaries for a bit now. I never was able to pin down something that allured me, but today I thought I might enjoy sitting down to talk about complaining. Ah yes, complaining. Well, let me preface this whole discussion by saying I am by no means immune to any of this. When the mood hits, I love to complain just as much as the next guy, and those that know me well might even consider that a bit of an understatement. So we've all complained at some point in our lives, and we're all subjected to complaints every day. Complaining is something that will happen in any social ecosystem. People will complain to their friends, people will complain in school or on the job, and people will complain in communities large and small. Hell, there are lucky individuals out there who are paid top dollar for their glorified complaints. But of course, with how many diverse communities the internet is host to, you'll see that in every corner. And that brings us right to my home and favorite salt pit, the League of Legends community. The League scene is famous and infamous for many of its charming attributes. A pillar on the side of infamy is the complaining that we manage, and after a short stint on some League social and discussion hotspots, it's not hard to see why. Specifically, the League subreddit and the boards are some of the most gravitating to those who love a good circle jerk. At any one time, a quick glance over the top threads on the League sub will instill you with the glory and karma harvesting power of the salty League of Legends player with a Reddit account. Now, that isn't to say that complaining doesn't have its place, especially in a gaming community. However, the complaints we see so often are not all backed with the intention of game improvement. So what are they for then? Why do people complain? Of course this half rhetorical question could be answered with something circular, such as because something is wrong and they don't like it. If only it were that simple. No, the roots of the issue at hand run much deeper than that. There's a more sinister catalyst here, found in social phenomena and psychology. If you want my opinion, and seeing as you've watched the video thus far, I feel safe in assuming that you might, people complain about League so much because it feels good. Think about it, for so many League is an exceedingly stressful experience. To many, myself included, League has never been just a game. No, for some, League is the metaphorical nicotine patch to curb their addiction for competition. When they can't be out in the world one-upping their co-workers, racing at stoplights, or bringing home gold for the Olympic high jump, they're sitting at home in their underwear playing League. For some, League offers frustration that goes beyond just dying in a video game. However the game causes stress, complaint is an accessible release valve. As your average complaint thread author feels their salinated blood bulging at their forehead vein, they can find a moment of release while complaining. Another important factor to note is the ever-present mob mentality. No matter the context, it is too easy to go with the flow. Mob mentality is the enabling factor that allows those who complain to gain traction. Upvotes and like-minded comments void of independent thought fill these complaint threads and shoot them to the front page. Circle jerks are just a gateway for those new to complaining on the internet and are capable of driving the final nail into the coffin of reasonable discussion. After all, that is what most of these places in the League community were made for, civil discussion. Of course, the notion of a community free of spineless complaint and shitposting is naive and idealist, but there is plenty that can be done if you'd like to contribute in a meaningful way. Firstly, you can make your criticisms constructive. Too many times I see a post that says something like, X is a problem, when what it really needs to say is X is a problem because blank, and here's how I think it should be fixed. You should also conduct yourself like an adult. If a complaint is unprofessional or just plain insulting, nothing will ever come of it more than more insults and crudeness. You should also be well informed. If you base your gripes on a little experience or hearsay, then your argument will be weak. Know the facts though, and you're likely to get an audience. To paraphrase our good friend Professor Oak, there's a time and a place for everything, complaints included. I know that I'm not going to stop complaining in my life anytime soon, but I'll certainly do my best to improve on it, and I hope you'll do the same. Hmm. You know what's funny? This video is basically one big complaint about complaints. <laughs> That's some Inception shit right there. Anyways, that was most of what I wanted to talk about today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me with any of the thoughts of your own in the comments, and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!